testing. So, yeah. Um, so if you have not tried thirst IC while you're detoxing, do yourself a favor. I'm tossing you the lifeboat. Go get it. Oh my. Okay. So that's not what we're here to talk about, but I do want everyone to know that, that, um, I feel like it's highly underrated, uh, as a product and it's just amazing. Oh my word. Okay. So, um, I do also want to, uh, clarify that circulate is also amazing. So just FYI, putting two plus one perks out there for you girls. Um, I am detoxing. I am on day three. Please excuse my squirrel brain because although I feel good and I am energetic, my brain is not keeping up. Um, <laughs> so uh, obviously I needed this detox, but let's just say three pounds down. If you haven't done the detox, you need to do it. Okay. So Let's get kickstarted off this morning. Courtney is back with us. Everybody welcome her back. We are super, super amazing um, and happy, or she is amazing. And we are happy that she is back with us. So let's collaborate. Let's get busy. And I want to start off with thankful, grateful, blessed, or any prayer request. Um, but here's the deal. We're not doing it in the chat. We're going to unmute and we're going to tell it out loud because we need to hear your beautiful voice and we need to know what are you thankful for? What are you grateful for? What are you blessed by? And any prayer requests that you have ready, set, go. Don't be shy. Can I start? I would like to say thank you, Courtney and Shanna, because it isn't your timing. I want to do things like right away. And I became a friend like Courtney told me to be. And I have a awesome relationship and she ordered yesterday that's exciting um it's a process um for us thrivers it's hard <laughs> to uh understand that when we are so excited for them we we have that sense of urgency but on the flip side of it people don't know what they don't know so we have to follow the process we have to love them through it congratulations and courtney and shanna are pretty pretty incredible just that's incredible. amazing i'm so happy and i mean that was a while back wasn't that like six weeks ago eight weeks ago i think it was like eight weeks yeah, yeah. you're right so yep. it takes time good for you and i'm glad you were patient and kind of stayed the course that's awesome but also keep in mind some people wait two years four years <laughs> five right. years. You know what I mean? So don't <laughs> ever give up. Six weeks is like winning the lottery, just saying. Um, so congratulations to you on winning the lottery. Um, but some people just don't get it right away. So also, you know, continue to follow up, continue to love them through, um, continue to, you know, put them through the funnel and love them up. Congratulations. Anyone else? Okay. To second that from what Jennifer just said, we never stop. And this is why we never stop sharing. I have a lady ordering today. She made her account with me on December 26th of 2015. Yep, those are the she's best. She's never ordered until today. And she keeps telling, she's in her um, three-way chat group and she just keeps saying, y'all saved my life. Y'all have saved my life. Y'all have saved my life. And you oh. just want to say, I told you so 18 years ago, lady. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's awesome. Those are the best. I have, I have had some of those in the past where I've posted in my team group and screenshotted the date, you know, of the conversation started or her free account, which was four or five years ago and followed back up or circled back. You know what I mean? Cause life and circumstances change, you know, and they're, they're finally ready. Awesome. That's one. I want to hear a little bit more though. Uh, what, what did you do to get her to order? Like, how did you love her through? Give us a little bit of that process. Who me? Yes. Oh, she finally accepted a sample. And then she let it sit for like two months. And so I followed up. I knew she had a lot going on. I followed up and I'm like, girlfriend, are you ready to experience, you know, the goodness of all this? So she finally is like, okay, I'm getting started. And we had to start her off super slow. She has a lot of stuff going on with her health. And we started her super, super slow, just one capsule. That was it. And um, so she, and she even said, she said, thank you for tweaking this to where it totally works for me. And that's where you have to listen to what they have to say. You got to listen with the intent to listen, not respond. And she said, and I owed it to you because I knew that this was money out of your pocket. And oh, wow. I'd been watching you for, you know, however many years. And I knew that a product must work because you looked great. That's, that's exciting. Yay. Yeah. That's why we just don't give up on people. We just, you know. 
Keep on moving and grooving. That's amazing. Yay. All right, who's next? I'll speak. Um, I am grateful because I finished detox yesterday. So today I'm going to have red meat in my life. Um, and if you know, you know, my lip gloss came. It finally arrived yesterday at like four o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm grateful for that. So rating it one to 10? Uh, well, I, it's okay. <laughs> okay, all right, okay. My world has not been rocked. Okay. Um, but you know, now me and my BFF have the same lip gloss, so. I was yeah. like, do I, do I need said lip gloss? Then you can message me, Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> it actually says lip balm on it now that I have it in my mm -hmm. hand. See, we're, we're sharing lip balm. That's just like, we're sharing Thrive with our friends. Like, yeah, hey, that's exactly how I bought this. This late, I just started following this lady on Instagram a few months ago and just fell in love with her, not for anything related to makeup, but she shared her lip balm. And next thing you know, I ordered it. That's why I tell people to share who you are on social media because people will buy from you once they know, like, and trust you. Oh, yes, 100%. All right, who's next? I'm next. I'd like to thank Sandra Diabek. Last night, she and I, uh, actually, she leases Wednesday Power Planning Zoom. And normally there are, you know, several people on the Zoom, they're always very good. And I don't attend them each week, but man, last night, I was the only one in the meeting. And Sandra really blessed me with all kinds of ideas. Now it's up to me to execute and go forward with it. Thank you, Sandra. Oh, that's so sweet. That's wonderful. Good. I'm glad you guys got to pour into each other and help each other. That's great. Yeah, it's hard this time of year. Like it's end of summer. Everybody's doing all the things with their kids and their families and last minute vacations. Like I've noticed that too, just with uh, people just, you know, kind of just being super busy. I think once school gets back and kids are a little more settled, I think um, participation, if that makes sense, will kind of be back to normal. My kids go to school in six days and I'm excited for that bus to come. <laughs> I love my children, but I'm like, bye. <laughs> um, I'll go. I got a new customer last night, but I want y'all to know she has had a free account with me since 2016. And I guess I posted something on my reel yesterday and that I did it on my reel and in my stories. And she just reached out and she's like, okay, um, what do you got? And I also found out this morning, you know, if you are kind of if you're in a leadership group or whatever, everybody all over Lavelle are getting these 15% off coupons for holding events and they're good for 72 hours. Well, the ones that I had last week expired. So I just went into my leadership groups. I'm like, Hey, anybody got one of those 15% off codes and every day somebody has one. And so I'm like, sweet. So of course I share them with my team. I'm sure Lavelle is like, why is somebody in Texas using somebody in Florida's, um, 15% off code, but hey, you know, it works. So those 15% off codes that are going for everybody on these events is amazing. Well, this one came from an online event only. It was not an actual local event where people had to show up. So I'm telling you that you can schedule on one of those Throb and Mingles, an online event. And for 72 hours, you will have a 15% off code. So just food for thought, something really awesome to do. And I got two miles in this morning before it got too hot, but because it is hot in Texas right now. Good for you. Okay. So talk to us about the events and the 15% in person. Do you get it for each one that you do or yeah. do you have to do three? No, no, no. You get it for each one that you do. And then it's good for 72 hours. So of course, you know, okay. I share it with my whole team. I don't care if you were at the event or not. And obviously we utilize it for the people who were at the event, but I mean, you may have today a customer that's coming in and wanting to order for the first time, and you can use that code. I'll put the code in the chat for those of you who aren't on one of our leadership things. And y'all can use it today. I think this one is good through Friday, maybe. Friday or Saturday. Okay, so um, hello. That was the most uh, thankful, grateful uh word out there of the day. I think that's probably going to be the most important topic. Um, 
of this Zoom. Hello, everybody go get an online event scheduled. Go get a person to person, belly to belly event scheduled. They are so important and so needed. I was at Susan's last Thursday and I'm gonna tell you it filled my freaking cup. Belly to belly is the way to go. It's the way I built this business. And I was, I had my eyes opened. I, I mean, you know, uh, not doing them really stinks, but you get complacent. You kind of get set in that. Um, but going to one really opens your eyes of why you need it and why you need to be there. Um, so I, I'm, I'm saying it really loud for the people in the back. Go get an event scheduled on the books. It's already August. Don't delay. Go do it. I am planning to uh, this month. And I am going to be doing a an weekly online one. Thank you, Susan. You're amazing. She just put that in the chat. That is a golden freaking nugget. Take it, copy it, use it. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay. Anyone else? Okay. Well, we are going to kickstart this. Go ahead. Sorry. Go. All right. Good morning, ladies. <laughs> I wanted to hop on here and say that I'm super excited because my promoter that um, one of my only actually running promoters and I, we have um, an event scheduled at the end of this month and I put it on the mix and mingle um, thing. So it's out there in the world, but we're doing it at a water park and I'm super grateful because she had that idea. And I think it's going to be amazing because there's going to be not only the people that we invite to the event, but there's going to be online or not online. <laughs> there's going to be mamas and grandmas and all kinds of tired ladies at the park with their kiddos. So I think it's just going to be amazing. I'm super excited about it. And I'm thankful and grateful that all of my son's appointments went amazing this last week. Yes. Good. That's Thank wonderful. You. I'm glad yeah. to hear that. Yay. And I'm excited for the little event you guys are doing at the water park. That's super Me fun. Too. I'm really excited about it. Awesome. Okay, you're ready to kickstart this? Let's go. I want everybody to say this out loud with me. We are going to start off with our I am's, okay? Because I think it's super, super important to get our mind right. Um, everything always works out in my favor. So you can unmute if you want to. Uh, you can stay muted, but I need you to say it out loud. Everything always works out in my favor. Repeat after me. Everything always works out in my favor. Repeat after me. We're going to say it again because the more you say it, the more you believe it, the more you believe it, the more you think it, the more you think it, the more you do it. So here we go. Everything always works out in my favor. Think it, speak it, believe it. Okay. Write it down. It's in my calendar. Um, I think it was Susan that shared it. Um, and someone else on her zoom shared it, but I just, it was powerhouse to me when I heard it. And there's so much truth behind it. Everything always works out in my favor. So let's start uh, for the first two minutes of the Zoom. We are going to do our I am statement. Um, I want you to write down, uh, I am grateful. I am an amazing mom. I am uh, going to hit my ranks this month. I am incredible. I am a hardworking uh, hustler. I am um, a little millionaire. I will hit auto bonus elite. I am attracting like-minded promoters. Um, but I want to take two minutes. I'm going to go ahead and set the timer. Um, and I want you to write yours down. I don't want you to just say them, but as you're writing them, I do want you to say them because I think these are super important. Timer is set. Um, I am amazing. I am growing and learning. I am attracting like-minded, hungry, hustler, promoters into my team, you know, what, however you want to say it, but I am timer set, ready, set, go say it out loud. Um, I want to see your lips moving ladies.
All right, time's up. We're gonna move on into our next task. Courtney, I'm gonna let you kick start us off. Give me the time and I'll set it. Ready, set, go. All right, guys. So we are gonna get started with our five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna start with our reach outs, which are always super duper important. So um, today is the third. We've got auto ships on August 5th in just a couple of days. So we wanna reach out to our auto ship people. Um, and well, I guess that would be more of a follow-up, my apologies, but um, we just want to reach out. We want to reach out to new people. We want to get the conversation started. We want to, you know, reach out to the people that liked our post or, you know, maybe liked our stories. I always try to go back to my uh, stories and see who liked it or whatnot. So just always reaching out and getting the conversation started part of the five every single day. Um and maybe doubling it and doing 10, because the more that you're going to reach out to, and the more you're going to get that conversation started with, the more you're just simply going to be able to grow. And as we all know, they're not going to order tonight. They're probably not going to order tomorrow, right? It's going to take some time, but we want to reach out and then think about all those reach outs that you're doing. Those are going to eventually turn into follow-ups, right? You're going to follow back up with them, say next week or whatnot, um, or continue to keep that conversation going. So uh, what do you want to do, Jen? Five minutes? Okay, let's do five minutes. One, two, three, go. I just want to also add, make sure that you're documenting who you're reaching out to um, officially for your five. You can't count it unless they respond, but I highly suggest you write down all the names uh, that you are reaching out to so that you can, just like Courtney said, eventually follow back up with those people. If you're not documenting it, I think you're doing yourself um, a big uh, disservice.
All right, guys. So timer's up. We're gonna. Oop, there it is. We're gonna move on into our next uh, task, and that's going to be our uh, follow-ups. So I want you to just like Courtney was saying, reach out to your auto ships that are coming in on Saturday. Follow up with those. Um, Susan has given us our 15% uh, off coupon. So you can follow up with anyone looking to order, utilize that. Hey, my uh, weekend promos just dropped. Uh, looking to see if we can, uh, or if you were interested in one of, I uh, ah, can't even talk right now. Uh, hey, our promos just dropped for the weekend. Would you like to know the details? Ask the question and then get them to respond back. Don't say, hey, I got this code. Do you want it? You know, get them talking to you. Um, and then also another follow-up would be anyone that is on a trial, anyone who has just ordered and possibly starting, um, you want to follow up with all of those people. So I'm going to set a timer for five minutes and we are going to do our follow-ups. Ready, set, go.
All right, time's up. Follow-ups are done. Courtney, tossing it to you. Sorry, y'all, I'm like mid-thoughts in that last message. Um, guys, let's go ahead and do our social media. Let's post in our stories. Let's take a picture. I've missed posting y'all on Thursdays. Um, let's everyone now, smile, it's, turn it's on your cameras. Time. Hold up, turn the cameras off. It's time. Today's the day. Everybody's going to have their cameras off. We should have given them warning though. Get out of the bathroom. Don't be on the potty. Embarrassing. <laughs> Hey, it's no. happening. <laughs> if it's in your if it's in your stories, you're just gonna be a little face with all these people. No one's gonna see you or be able to zoom in or anything like that. I think we're all ladies. It's a no bra zone, so you're good. Come on. I do have a bra on. I'm happy. I'm proud of myself. Wild hair, wild hair, don't care. You have a bra on. Good for you, girl. That's like winning. <laughs> hey, in like two seconds, can you say this is a no bra zone zoom? I'm gonna record oh. that. Yeah, yeah. We're just yeah. waiting on a few more. Un, un, come on, cameras, ladies, cameras, come on. This is what we call a no bra zone Zoom. Just <laughs> kidding. We can all work together from our desk, no matter what we look like. See, look at me. <laughs> I love it. Yes. I, I'm fixing I'm it. it. I'm going to do the same thing. Here we go. All right. I was trying to get everybody. Come on, ladies. Come on. Um, all right. I'm going to do the same thing with my video. <laughs> it's pretty amazing that this is a no bra zone morning Zoom. I love it. I love it. I love these ladies. I love working with them. And we don't even have to wear bras. I love it. Awesome. Okay. So I'll post that when we get off the Zoom so I can kind of focus and make my little wording with it. But yes, make sure you are sharing that. Put it in your stories. Um, tag anybody that you're friends with. Um, you know, and just say, I always love like, thri you know, thriving Thursday, thirsty Thursday, um, you know, thrive tribe, whatever, you know what I mean? Just get creative. So sharing on our post, our sharing on our social media, posting in our stories, um, you know, sharing, you know, anything that you've got, you know, be you show your kids, your family, your dog, your dinner, your flowers, your garden. What are you off doing? Are you school shopping? Are you, you know, back to school, um, you know, for an open house or something with the kids or grandkids? Like, are you at work? Like, show what you're doing, like show your life and, you know, be present on social media. It's so important um, to this business. And, um, yeah, so I'm excited to share that on my stories with you guys. It's been a couple of weeks. Like I said, I've missed being able to post my Thursday morning zoom with y'all. Um, does anyone have any questions about posting social media stories, anything at all? I think let's go ahead and set a timer and let's get this, uh, three minutes. You're either, you're going to a post in your stories, <laughs> you're B going to plan your stories. Um, and C, once you're done with all of that, you're going to work your story. So we're going to do some conscious commenting in our stories. Timer yes. set for three minutes. Ready, set, go. That's huge.
Okay, time's up, but I did drop some things in the chat for you to copy and take um, with you for future reference. It's basically just some verbiage in regards to specific products that we have. So for instance, if you are drinking the amazing Thirst I See, the most underrated plus line product that we have, oh my God, it's amazing. You can clearly just list these ingredients while you're making it on a video. Just copy and paste that verbiage right there and put it onto your story. So I did put some things into the chat. Uh, please excuse any uh, misspelled grammar, uh, fix all of that. Um, so those are there for you to use future reference, copy and paste and use them later. But let's, our timer's up. Let's move on into the next task. Um, I want to um, work our uh, groups right now. And I want to be very specific in our groups. I, this is where you, oh gosh, I'm going to forget. I always forget. Who knows what Lindsay calls it? Uh, oh gosh, I wrote it down and I don't know where I wrote it down. In our groups, Lindsay calls it something where you comment and you like and you, somebody knows. It's clam. Clam. And what does it stand for? Well, comment, like, something, and message. I forget the A. Anyone? Anyone? Add. Anyone? Add. Add them as add. a friend. Add. Oh, okay. Add. Thank okay. you, Jacqueline. Man, y'all are amazing. We all work together and we are better together because my brain is not working on detox. Hello. Um, okay, so we're going to use the what clam. Method. Sorry, y'all. I was going to put yep. it in the comments. What is it called? It's the clam method. Oh. Comment. Like. Add message. This is what we're going to do in our groups. I'm going to set a four minute timer. Um, this is the groups that make you you, right? This is who makes, you know, just like um, Tammy was telling us uh, whatever day that was. Um, you have to know what makes you you. I'm a Dotsy mom, just like Tammy. Um, I'm a hockey mom. Uh, thank God my son's playing his last season. Uh, I'm an Aggie mom, just like Susan. Um, I am a, uh, I want to say I'm a travel enthusiast, but I love the Island of Turks. And so I, you know, I'm, I love that. I'm in one of those groups. Um, I had Bell's Palsy when I was 18. I'm in a Bell's Palsy group. Uh, I have a Ninja Creamy and it's freaking amazing. Go get you one. I'm in a Ninja Creamy group. Um, so get in groups for something that is interesting to you and that you can relate to, where you can actually go relate to people and start conversations. So we're gonna use the clam method. Your timer's already set, ready, set, go.
Okay, timer's up. Courtney, you want to take us to our next task? Yes. So I think we should go to um, names on our list because um, that is always important and something I've always done is just continuing to add names to the list so that we do have new reach outs, right? Like when we have time to do reach outs, you don't want to sit there and be like, uh, who am I reaching out to? Who, who, who am I, you know, you don't want to be scrolling and trying to figure that out. So you should always have a running list of people that have never thrived with you, people that you want to thrive with you, um, people that you've never communicated with or reached out to or talked about thrive. It could be neighbors. It could be other school mamas. It could be coworkers, uh, maybe someone you're afraid to reach out to. Maybe somebody does another business or does another MLM, or maybe they've done another health product or whatnot. So adding names to your list is so important so that when you are ready to do those new reach outs and you've got a small window, boom, you know who to reach out to. So adding people is super important. Um, one of the things that I talked about um, last week on a call was, you know, it's going to be back to school time, right? I know some people start after Labor Day. My kids start next Wednesday. So as far as adding names to a list, here's an example. When I post my back to school post with my kids on the front porch and Carson's going to be a sophomore and Kieran's going to be in seventh grade, I'm probably going to get 50 likes, a hundred likes, tons of comments, right? And so I utilize that post and I go through all the likes, all the hearts, all the comments, and I write down names, right? From all those people. And I take my time and it does take time. And I will go back and be like, okay, when was the last time I reached out to Sally? When was the last time I talked to Sarah? When was the last time Kelly and I talked about Thrive, right? I've been doing this almost nine years. So I'm putting them down on a list because it's either quote, a new reach out. I've never talked to them before, or maybe it's a follow-up or a circle back that I talked to them about Thrive six years ago, five years ago, eight years ago, who knows? So writing those people down as an example, maybe you're going to post your grandbabies. Um, so think about that. Anytime you have a, a, an exceptionally awesome post and you get tons of likes and tons of comments, or maybe it's something funny or a funny meme, or, you know, I even hate to say this, but, you know, if something sad happens, you know, maybe you lose a pet or something happens, you're going to get like a hundred likes or a hundred comments about your beloved pet. And even though that's sad in the moment, go back and look at all those likes and all those comments and write all those people down so that in the future you can work off of that list. So use that as a tool going forward with all your posts, you know, Christmas day, you're going to get all the likes and all the comments, write all those people down so that you can go back and refer back to that list. So I hope that makes sense and that you always have an ongoing list of running people. Timer's already set. Keep working. Okay, timer's up. We are going to take five, we're gonna do six minutes here. Here are your tasks. We're gonna do kind of a series of tasks. So get your pen out and write these down so that you can work through them. Uh, we're gonna take six minutes. I'll start the timer here in just a minute after I give you the task. We're gonna make a Facebook, Instagram post, okay? You're gonna post about something today, right now. Uh, we've done 
you know, all of our work and now it's time to get our post out there and let it work for us, right? So make a post. You can go share something from the LaBelle fan page. Um, it is uh, Thirsty Thursday. Thirst I see. Hello, everybody. Go post about it. It's amazing. Everybody needs it in their life. Um, you can uh, make a throwback Thursday post. Uh, maybe your kids are, you know, your son's a senior. Oh my gosh. And you can make a post when he was in kindergarten, throwback Thursday post. Um, you can uh, make your own uh, detox post. I should post about detox today, right? Okay, so make a post on your Instagram and on your Facebook. Um, you can post about your garden. You know what I mean? Just post something today, right? Um, then we're also going to, during this timer, you're going to do conscious commenting. This is where you are going to scroll. This is where you're allowed to waste your time, but work your time, okay? You can only conscious comment on non-thriving people. You're going to compliment and ask a question. Oh my gosh, your kids are already back in school. Wow, we don't start till next week. What grade are they? Compliment, question. Then you are also going to work during this six minutes when I start the timer, you are going to work bumping back up your posts. So when you posted something yesterday or you posted something three days ago, I posted Madison's internship on Monday, right? There's a million comments on there and I got to go back up and start bumping those up. So we're going to do some bumping posts back up, okay? So go back to a past post and comment under those people saying thank you or, oh my gosh, where'd you get that? Or whatever your post is, right? So we're going to make a post. We're going to do some conscious commenting. And we're also going to do some re-bumping a post, okay? Six minutes, ready, set, go. If you have questions, feel free to unmute. That was a lot. So if you're looking for something to post, today's National Watermelon Day, National Clean Your Floors Day. So get off your butt and clean your floors today, ladies. Take us a video of yourself cleaning your floors. It's also Big Forehead Day. I don't think I have a big forehead, but I think I might do a poll and see if people do. Um, it's National Grab Some Nuts Day. And that means like the peanuts and the, you know, pecans and stuff. Um, and then it's also National IPA Day if you are a beer drinker. Um, so there you go. Everybody go get your floors clean, get you some nuts and see if you have a big forehead. <laughs>
Okay, timer is up. We're gonna move on into our last task and Courtney, I'll let you close us out in just a second. Our last task, we're gonna just set a few minute timer um, and I want you to do a social media audit on yourself. And then honestly, I would like for you to pick a team member to do a social media audit on, okay? And I don't want you to go blast them, but I do want you to go give them some encouragement, preferably someone on here. Um, so you can compliment them. Um, so work hand in hand, we're gonna do a social media audit. So you need to be building relationships. You need to uh, have a call to action. You need to show up daily on your social media. You need to inform, you need to interact, you need to be inspirational, you need to have validation, you need to educate, you need to inform, um, and then you also need to be funny, and you need to have uh, entertaining live videos as well. So this is in your stories and on your wall. So you're going to take just a few minutes to go audit yourself. Are you all thrive, 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 thrive? Or are you all family, 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 family? Or are you all nothing and not showing up? So this is your audit that you're doing on yourself. And I want you to give yourself a grade, okay? Um, and then whatever your grade is, I just want you to do better. So we're gonna set a timer. Let's do three minutes. Ready, set, go. If you're not showing up every day, now's the day to start doing that. Um, if you're not educating, um, now's the time to start doing that. What would you educate on? You would educate on uh, cleaning your floors today. It's National Clean Your Floors Day. What do you clean your floors with? Educate them, right? Um, thirst I see. Why does everybody need to take it? Because it's freaking amazing and it's awesome and everybody needs it in their life and everybody needs to be hydrated. Um, plus it's cheaper than the other alternative and the ingredients are way better um, and healthier for you. That's why you need it. So that would be education, right? Um, you need to entertain. So you need to be funny. You need to ask like crazy questions. Um, like how many times do you wash your laundry before you put it in the dryer? Well, my record is seven, just so you know. Um, <laughs> so you know what I mean? Just be, be entertaining, be funny, be real. People do not want fake, uh, and, and please forgive me, but influencer Instagrammable people, right? People want to be relatable to you and they want to be able to know and like and trust you before they purchase from you. So these are the things that you can do um, to live your life out loud. I had this conversation with my thriving neighbor the other day and she was nervous to post her kids on vacation in Turks where I planned it for them, by the way. Um, and I was like, girlfriend, you're speaking to the live out loud queen. And her comment to back to me was, I love every single one of your posts. You were super inspiring and I love, you know, watching you. I'm like, well, and everyone's going to watch you too. And everybody's going to love that too. So keep sharing. So the timer's set, ready, set, go. Okay, I lied. I said that was going to be our last task and then we we're going to close it out. I have one more task for you and I think this is super important. I think it's very um, underrated and I don't think many people um, really actually do it. So we are going to set a two minute timer and we are going to go invite people to our customer page. Most leaders have customer pages and we need to get, get these active and get these people in here. Why? It's free advertisement. So I'm setting a two minute timer. How would one go about that? Hey, we have a Thrive customer page and I think that you would be really interested in it. It's just information and I would love to invite you to it. Can I add you? 
Go and buy a customer that's already thriving. And that's, that's a great thing to say too, you know, if maybe someone's not ready to order or I don't know, they say, oh, I got to get the kids back to school, um, you know, maybe in a couple of weeks or check back, then say, I'd like to add you, or I'm going to add you so you can learn more and maybe help answer some of your questions. Like absolutely use that as, you know, an end all, you know, don't, don't let them say, oh, not right now. Oh, I can't afford it. Oh, I got to wait until the kids get back. That's totally fine. Respond and say, I'd like to add you to this um, customer page. It's going to help get you some more info about Thrive, blah, blah, blah. Just make sure that you have their free account before you add them. And those of you that don't have a customer page, if you'll send me a message, I'll get you in the right one. Um, and then the next thing is right now, while we're working, add them to the fan page. Okay, Tom's up. We are going to close out. Courtney, I'm going to toss it to you just real quick. I want you girls to set a to-do list for the rest of the day. We did this in an hour, right? We did reach outs. We did follow-ups. We added new friends. We did our stories. We did our posts. We did our uh, added people to the customer page. We re-bumped our posts. We did conscious commenting and we stayed active on our posts. We made a, a post on Instagram and we also made one on Facebook, right? Our open sign is open. You need to set 10 or 15 minute timers throughout the day, three or four of them, and just start checking off things on those lists and continue to do these things over and over and over repetitively, but make sure you're documenting everybody you're communicating with so that you can backtrack and follow up with them. Courtney, I'm going to toss it to you to close us out, girlfriend. Well, I just had a quick reminder, guys, and I was going to post this in my team group. Don't forget that that three-part customer um, email campaign is still going through August 11th. So that was posted last Friday. I believe it was after Susan's event and Cliff was there. And I think he gave everybody an insider tip that there was three email campaigns going out to our customer base, depending on when their account was made, depending on when they ordered, there was some criteria to it. But don't forget that doesn't end until August 11th. So make sure you're utilizing that, especially as you're following up um, and or doing a reach out. Um, you know what I mean? Just always keep that in your back pocket because that gives you something to mention about, hey, did you get this email? Did you hear about this? And if they didn't, then maybe you can create your own special if you have credits or whatnot. So I just wanted to remind you all that does end on August 11th. That's all I got. I'm glad to be back. I miss seeing y'all. Make it a great day. Remember, if it's up to me, it's if it's meant to be, it's up to me. And whether you think you can or you think you can't, either way, you're right. Remember, can, 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 can. You can. Yes, you can. All right. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow uh, on Friday with Tiffany. And where is everybody for crying out loud? It is the end of summer. It's school time. But who cares? We still got work to do. Go invite a friend to tomorrow's Zoom. Bye, ladies. <laughs>